that run was dead the minute I picked up gold on Olmec. On the flip side, I doubt I would have been able to make it through that tide pool no gold. So, even if I had managed Olmec, maybe it wasn't the seed. Thank god for iframes on that gem. Thank you, thank you. It'll come. Just a matter of attempts. Come on. Climb down, Tina. Now, what is this? What am I supposed to do with a jetpack and a skeleton key? Why am I doing back layer skip? Sick. Worst of both worlds. I open all the doors. Prison escape percent. Um. Fuck, I don't know. Um, somebody in the Discord, Spelunky Discord, said something about how Cosmic Ocean isn't fun, but you could do um, Challenge Percent Run, which is just doing the Moon, Star, and Sun challenges, and uh, killing Hundun's eye with the bow and the arrow of light. I might just do that, because like, this realistically isn't. I don't, this can't be a run. I don't think this is anything. So I'll just get some money. Do the challenge. I mean, I could sit here and all, all day and let that drill down. Yeah, I should have saved horsing. You're right. Whatever, though. Sure. Okay, one challenge done. Turkey just waiting for me. You'll love to see it. Alright, so I guess I'm on skipping. Whoops. And I can use my last bomb to put this in Waddlers. Maybe I'll just carry it through Tidepool. I would like to keep my one bomb. And you can put it in Waddlers for free in Ice Caves. So I'll just do that. That's a little bit spicy, but a little bit late in the run for something like that. Oh, I should get the hired hand here. Otherwise, oh, you fuck. That was a very convenient bomb in the chest. I can't even lie. Okay, there's the hard hand. We'll get him, have him fish. Have him carry the bow. Or maybe I should carry the bow and have him carry the... Asshole. Let's get out of here. Sit. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have enough money. I should have grabbed the idol. Almost. A little bit more. Just a couple more bars or a gem. Anything? Any gold? What's in here? Buddy, where'd the bow go? That's a little bit of money. It's not enough. Ah. Uh, oh, there's some money. Um, $500 short? Are you kidding me? Ton just... Bro! I need you to pick up the bow and hold it. Thank you. I have enough stress in my life already. Alright, I think I just have to cook a bomb and get this gold. I think that's my only choice here. That was a scary cook, I won't lie. Put him in a little safe spot, too. Reset my hard hand so he doesn't do anything stupid. get all this money so we don't run into the same problem for the sun challenge. We made back almost what we spent. Okay, buddy, just chill. Deposit the puppy. You know, it's funny, the rewards you get for doing the moon and sun challenge are very obviously connected to the special victory. But the, um, the clone gun doesn't really have any obvious, nice one, idiot any real obvious use, you can kind of just use it on anything, you know? Um, do we have to do anything here? I don't think so. Pray that the hired hand yet still has the bow. Um, there's a couple consistent ways, Eric. Yeah, after this run, I'll open up Overlunky and show you a couple. Um, there's a 100% guaranteed safe way that takes a paste bomb and a rope or two regular bombs and a rope and there's a like 99% safe way that um, is resourceless so um, let me wrap this up and then I'll open up Overlunky show you that and then I might even do a little practice on um, back layer skip or quad cook because I'm rusty on those Quad cook less, so mostly back layer skip, but. Alright, time to put this bow away. And the clone gun. I believe that's Walter right here. Indeed it is. Take this. And so should I give him the clone gun? I guess there's really nothing for me to clone, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll clone the resource bag. Might as well. All right, let's get spike shoes. Thank you.
you for your cooperation. Might as well get Monty. I'll never turn down free health. I'm a bit tempted to grab the idol, but as long as I just pick up loose money between now and the sun challenge, we should be fine. I don't like this. Okay. Not really anything to do in Neobab, I guess. That was scary. Can rescue Poochie here. Sneak in, no problem. Oh, didn't like that. Puppy, watch out. It's not safe for either of us here. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad of a 6-3. All things considered. Alright. Standard stuff here. I think I have plenty of ropes. Yeah, 8. Reset my fuel real quick. Used every last drop of uh, jetpack fuel getting up to the side there. Oh, you know, I can show you the. Um, Sun challenge here, like in this run. Oh, actually, I don't have any bombs, but I can show you the easy one that doesn't take bombs and is almost always safe. Yeah, I love side strats. Super fun, super steezy. Very efficient. Okay, easy challenge. Okay, plenty of money. So you want to be way up in the corner. So you just go up one ladder, get up here, and basically the the goal is to be in this quote unquote safe spot. It can be a little hairy. Vampires make it hard. Witch doctors can fuck you over pretty hard. Sorcerer's can too. This is actually the roughest this has gone in quite a while, but you can just dump, dump bodies. Usually it goes quite a bit smoother than that, I can't lie. Um, but if you want to be even more safe about it, you can stick a paste bomb up on the spawner, and then put a rope up here, and just wait here. And then it'll be 100% safe. Um, if you don't have paste, just stand here and drop two, just one, two, real quick and it'll cascade up into the spawner. Okay, let's get clone gun. Walter, where are you? There you are. Yeah, the, um, the, like, gray metallic things, those are the spawners. And yeah, if you just bomb them out, then, you know, no more enemies. It's very convenient. 
Vamps are pretty much the biggest threat. Yeah, just these like upside down bulls are the spawners. Okay, got 45 seconds here, so no rush. Yeah, it's not too hard to pull off. I've definitely died a handful of times, but much more often than not, um, you can live doing that. Whoops. Whatever. I have a billion bombs, so... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say it's easy. It's simple. Like many things in this game, it is simple, but not necessarily easy. And you know, none of it takes any crazy technical skill, right? It's just a matter of experience knowing what to look out for. Made it through without them knocking my bow away. Thank you. Alright, I'm done time. Not looking like a good layout right off the bat. This isn't too bad. Was I too early? I think I was. Just a little bit. Bop, bop. Bruh. There we go. Yeah, few, few things are safe. That's very true. Anything can kill you very quickly without warning. <laughs> I have one HP, no Kapala. For a second I was like, oh, I'll go I'll go Cosmic Ocean, whatever, fuck it. Alright. Yeah, spike shoes is the best because um the way the damage works is it's based on how long you've been free falling and it goes like 1, 2, 4, 8, 99. It takes a while to get to 99 uh, spike shoe damage, but you can get to 4 or 8 pretty quickly, like a second or something like that. Um, and you can just dispatch the heads one at a time like that, just stomp on them. It's a lot easier. I mean, if you have paste, it's pretty easy to drop them on the crust and they'll, uh, the heads will break the crust and the paste bombs will just fall onto them. That's pretty easy too, but... Well, that was fun. I don't think anybody's really ever done a uh, challenge run, like, all challenges run like that. So I'm going to make a note to record that, or you know, to trim it from the recording. Um, and I'll put it up on YouTube and maybe just drop it in the Spelunky Discord and see what people think about it. Um, I didn't do any of the chain there, which I think is an interesting thought. 